Hey, what is going on guys? Vexer here with another tutorial. So today I'll be showing you how to learn the basics of Adobe Premiere Pro in five minutes or less. I've already done an episode just like this for Photoshop and in the future I plan on doing more for maybe Vegas or After Effects or Illustrator. So let me know down below if you enjoy this video. I'll leave a like or a comment, it's always really appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first you want to do is click new project, name this whatever you want, Oops, ABC, and then click OK. Click yep. And then this is your project, but obviously there's no timeline yet. So what you need to do is right click, hit new item, and then go to sequence. And then if we go to the settings, you can change all your settings here. So for most people we put custom 60 frames per second, 1920 by 1080. And then we go square pixels, uh, progressive scan, 60 FPS time code. Leave these at default. If you're getting some lag in your previews, so you just disable all of these, you'll only really notice this on lower end computers and you can make this a lower resolution, but just remember that this is the video preview only. This will not have any effect on the final render. And then we can just name the sequence whatever we want, so we'll just call it main, and then click OK. And then this is your timeline. Now, the unique thing in uh, Premiere is you can right click and you can do another sequence, and then this will be a separate timeline. So you can actually have multiple timelines going within Premiere, and what you can do with this is it just keeps it uh, less cluttered. So let's say you're making a short film, you could have a new timeline for each scene, and then in your main timeline, you just put in each scene, and then you just have a bunch of blocks of footage rather than have it all over the place and uh, you know be all messy. So what we're gonna do now, if you wanna import something, you can just go into your file and just drag a drag and drop a picture. It's that simple. Now, if you wanna edit the resolution of this and you know the scaling and rotation and all that sort of stuff, go up to the top here to effects controls. Now, if yours looks a bit different to me, your layout is different, you can just click up the top here and click on editing, and that is basically like the default, most important, you know, basic, the most basic layout for Premiere. So as I was saying, up here, your effects controls, this is the position of the picture, and then you've got the up and down, and then you've got your resolution scaling. So in Premiere, if your picture is higher than the resolution of your sequence then it will just automatically zoom your picture in quite a bit so you can just drag this in if you want to see the whole thing you can also click on motion up here and then once that happens you'll see this blue box highlighting and that allows you to move the picture freely now if you want to move your picture like you want to stretch it you can disable uniform scaling and then that allow you to do that you can obviously do the rotation here and you know all that kind of stuff that's pretty straightforward now if you just press these arrows that'll just reset everything now, if you want to do something a bit more custom, like some color correction, you want to go down here to your effects tab, and then you have your video transitions, which is like, if you go to dissolve tab here, this is your dip to black and your film dissolve or cross dissolve, that kind of stuff. And this is all your dissolves. And then you've got your video effects, you've got your audio transitions and your audio effects. And if we go to say video effects and we want to do some basic color correction, then what we can do down, down here, we can go into color correction and then we want to put on Lumetri color and then if we go back up to our effect controls you can see now we have Lumetri color uh, that effect applied so we'll click one of these drop downs and then you've got your temperature here so you can make it different you know, different temperature you've got your tint all that kind of stuff and basically any effect you want you can uh, do all through the effects tab here now the tools so that's just how to basically edit your footage, but obviously on the timeline, there's a bunch of different tools you need to know. So you've got your five video tracks up here on the top, and then your five audio tracks down here on the bottom. So if we right click, we can click add track, and that'll add a audio track, or we can right click and click add track, and then that'll add a video track. So that is how the timeline works. It's a bit different to Vegas, so you do have to have all your video on top and all your audio on the bottom. Now, if you're wondering how loud your audio is, that is just this over here. And then if you want to actually move your footage around, then that's just, you know, obviously moving around. If you want to crop it, you can just drag it like that. And then if you want to actually cut it, you click the razor tool here or C, and then that'll just allow you to chop it wherever you like. If you want to add some text to Premiere, then you just click on the text tool, you drag, and then it'll allow you to start typing however you like. And then obviously back in your effect controls again, you can edit all that text like the font and uh, stuff like that. So once you've got all your footage, you've got your text, you've got it all cut and colored the way you like, you can go file, you can go export and then you click media and then make sure before you do that you actually you've selected the timeline and then they'll basically just tell you up here your time and then if you want to make don't want to render all of it you can just use these tools to crop the ends and you know you can see where you're cropping it with this tool here so this just allows you to render only certain bits if you want to 
Now for the actual render settings, the format, you always wanna have this on H.264 if you're uploading to YouTube, which I presume most of you guys will be. And then the preset, just put this to custom, and then you can change everything down here. So if we wanna make this 1920 by 1080, and then 60 FPS, square pixels, high profile 5.1, render at maximum depth, that's just gonna make the best color, so you always wanna have that enabled. Uh, usually you want to do VBR one pass and then for 1080p 60 on YouTube you'll have these both at 12 and then render maximum render quality if you're happy to wait a bit longer and just get a better quality out. So once you've done all that you can just hit export and that's pretty it. That is the basics. Had to edit a basic video in Premiere. Uh, there's, there is a lot, obviously a lot more to Premiere, a lot more, more in detail tools but I can leave it up to you guys to go through all of the different effects and transitions and view that all yourself. A lot of that is very self-explanatory with all the different, uh, you know, transitions and fades and, and, you know, like morph cuts and all that sort of stuff. You guys can go explore that. That's pretty much it. That's the basic tools of Premiere. Hopefully this video helped you guys. Remember if it did, please leave a like down below or a comment letting me know. Let me know if you want to see this for other software like Vegas or After Effects. I'd be really appreciated. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.